everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a work with me. I have about 16, 17 orders that I want to get done tonight. I just want to get my all my orders done and cleared out. So it's going to be a long, busy night. I anticipate staying up very late tonight just because I want to get all these orders out because I have a market on Saturday. So I want to be able to spend Thursday, Friday working on market prep stuff. So. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to work tonight. Just be prepared, probably for a long vlog. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but it's probably gonna be long. And I have a special surprise for you guys. Um, I ended up getting some new equipment delivered to my house. Um, I got here earlier today. Um, it had to be delivered on a pallet, so it's a big machine. So uh, let's go unbox this really fast, and then we'll get started on working on orders. Okay guys, so here is the machine. We have to get a crowbar. Is that what it's called? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see the screwdriver. Watch out, Jason. I don't okay. want to pop you in the face. Alright guys, so here is this huge box. This was delivered today. Sorry about the lighting. Um, it got delivered and I had the delivery guy put it in our garage. Don't mind our filthy garage. Um, <laughs> um, so eventually, once we get this garage cleaned out and uh, insulated and some other like electrical things, this will be our shop basically. So, so Eric's just taking off all these metal pieces. Um, despite being sick this past uh, two weeks, Eric was able to clean out the garage and make room for this machine to be delivered. Um, but we're gonna be working hard, guys, trying to get as many orders out as we can so eventually we can get this garage redid and have a future warehouse, mini warehouse, in our home, so. <laughs> so that's our goal. Um, but he's gonna go ahead and take it off. Um, a lot of people on Facebook tried to make a guess, and most of them were right. But we got another 15 needle by embroidery machine. <laughs> so we just wanted to open it up and see what came with it. Um, we'll definitely be doing like a setup video, just not tonight, because we still need to get it moved into the house, so we have a lot of work to do. So it looks a little different. So I noticed some changes compared to ours. Um, I can't so I won't really be able to look at it though until we get it pulled out. So the machine looks a little bit different than the other Vision machine that we have. I know that they made some changes to the machine, so I'm kind of curious like if there's a big, big difference um, on the two different like Vision models. They're the same model, just I don't know, they made some changes to it. So definitely excited to, to pull it out. Unfortunately, I don't know if I got the muscles for that. <laughs> yeah, we we need to. Oh, you think you got the muscles for it? Yeah. Let's show, yeah. show your muscles. Show us your muscles. Uh, <laughs> but we're gonna need some some manpower definitely um, to get this bad boy in the house. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of just look through it and see if we got everything with the machine, but I'll check back in with you guys once I start working. Okay, so basically, um, we got another one of these machines. Um, we were just looking at it, and it does look like it's a little slightly different, or it has a different monitor. I won't know until I actually, like, get the other machine all set. Um, the other machine did come with some thread. It came with this thread like similar thread to this so um, I do need to go and purchase more threads that I typically use um, I, I use Madeira threads so I definitely need to get like another set of all the colors that I use I need to get new mighty hoops I need to get a, an 8x9 I need to get I think this is the 5 by five or four by four, one of one of the two. Um, so I need to get at least one more of each of these, and then I also need to get. Um, I'm thinking a seven by seven and an eight 
or a 10 by 10 and then I feel like we also need one another set like two more of these ones as well so three total another one of those and then a 10 by 10 and a 7 by 7 and then this is a heads up guys my craft room is a disaster um, I've been sick this last two weeks um, so I honestly haven't cleaned my room I haven't had the energy to clean my craft room so I might do that tonight while I'm working just to kind of like squeeze it in because I won't be honestly I won't be able to work too much with all this mess so I will have to clean up some of it but we are thinking of putting our other machine right here currently we have and it's so messy I got my color street too Shout out to PJ Mommy. I need to um, do a fresh set. I've been loving these, but I need to sit and do my nails one of these days. Eric built this table to put our DTG machine on. I'm probably gonna have to move this out of the way to put the multi-needle over here. So let me back up. So we'll have one over here, one over here. I will be selling this um, baby lock floors too and I will be selling my P800 as well so once I get rid of that we might have to remove one of these to be able to fit the DTG in here somewhere and I, this room used to be the perfect size but now that my business is growing it's becoming too small so I'm looking forward to getting our garage redone and set up so we can have a better setup but we'll put the machine there and this table that Eric built, um, we'll probably just put it underneath this TV for right now. Um, we could honestly remove this TV and put the DTG, DTG over there and have plenty of room for all the equipment. I do need to up, I do need to upgrade my heat press to a bigger one, especially when we get the DTG going. I'm definitely gonna need, I'm definitely going to need another heat press, so. I'm gonna have to find room for that as well. Okay, so my little one just woke up from a late nap. So he's probably gonna be up late tonight. Um, I was expecting him to sleep for the rest of the night, but he he sounds like he's up. Eric's dealing with him right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working now. Um, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is just kind of tidy up this room just a little bit, not a lot, just to kind of clear off my workspace so I'll, be able, so I'll have space to work. And then I need to cut a lot of fabric for skirted mummies. I have a few bell bottom outfits as well, um, or bell bottoms that I need to cut. So I'm gonna clean. Anyways, sorry, my little one just woke up, so I had got a little distracted. Basically, though, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up this room um, just a little bit, just so I can work. I just need to be able to clear off some of my work space, like the tables off, just so I have space to work. And then, um, I'm gonna go cut a ton of fabric for skirted bummies, um, a baby blanket order, um, and some fabric orders as well. So, I'm gonna do a lot of cutting. I probably won't bring you guys along for that, just because that room, the lighting, the lighting is horrible in there. So, I probably won't take you guys along with me in there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning up a little bit and then start cutting fabric. I got all the fabric cut for all my fabric orders, baby blankets, and then um, all my bummies or bell bottom orders. And then I also cut a bunch of pre-cut strips for bows and head wraps because most of these outfits have a matching bow to go with it. Um, I do have a pair of, or actually two pairs of shorts that I have to make. Um, I'm so surprised that this star fabric, so I'm offering shorts, bell bottoms, and skirted bummies, um, but I think I only sold, I want to say three items, so I haven't sold a lot of these, so I have a ton of fabric left. If I don't get any more orders, probably within this next week, I probably will list um, whatever fabric I have left, left of this print and just list it. Um, just to try and get rid of some of this fabric. I honestly thought these were going to be a really good seller, a big hit, but it's been so slow on Etsy and, you know, this looks like a lot of orders. But, um, most of these, probably like 99% of these orders are from my ads, so they are working. Um, but for how much money I'm spending on ads, it's like, it's not like a, I'm not making enough money to make it worth it. I guess is I'm trying like I'm trying to explain it I don't know if I'm making any sense but 
it's just a really slow time on Etsy and I'm so thankful for these orders that I'm getting but again I'm paying so much in ads just to get these orders so um, the ads are working it just sucks that I'm not getting a better turnout for how much I'm paying um, what's really nice though is uh, if you guys watched some of my previous videos I prepped a bunch of bummies for a market and I have a bunch of the star ones, um, I think I need to make like two more pairs to have like all the sizes that I offer. But I basically only have two sizes left for the sprinkle bummy. So it's, I was able to pull one of my sizes um, from my pre-made batch for one of these orders. So basically all I have to do for that order is make the bow, which is so nice. So I'll be able to package that one up really quickly. Um, so that's one less bummy that I have to sew. So after I get all these orders out, my goal for these next two, three days for the market is to prep some more bummies and hopefully try and get some bell bottoms too for this star fabric. Um, because I'm thinking of just listing these two on Facebook Marketplace and trying to sell them locally for a much cheaper like cost than I would on Etsy. Um, I'm th I think for my skirted bummies, I want to say I charge, I think 20 to 25 dollars depending on the size of the bummy. So I'm thinking because on Facebook Marketplace, I can sell them for just you know either cash or you know through PayPal or something like that. I could charge them a little bit cheaper because I don't have to pay for all the Etsy fees and whatnot. So I'm thinking of offering. The skirted bummies with a matching bow, um, especially for this star fabric. Probably just for this star fabric because I want to try and push it. Um, do a matching bow with the skirted bummies for $20. And then maybe for the boy shorts, I could just do those two for $20. And then for the bell bottoms, I could probably do those for $25. I think that would be um, pretty decent cost. I might even do the bell bottoms too for like the smaller sizes for $20. Um, because I did get the fabric um, pretty cheap, so I am able to be very flexible on the price of them, um, especially if I'm not having to pay any extra Etsy fees or anything like that. So that's my next option. If, if I don't get any more sales for this fabric, probably within this next week, I'm just going to try and push them on Facebook Marketplace, um, basically for as cheap as I can possibly do, just so I can get all this inventory out. Um, so luckily I only have two shirts that need to be embroidered and they're super easy shirts so I can get those going on my buy. Um, I do have one baby blanket that I need to embroider and then the rest is either a fabric order, I have one scrunchie order and the rest are just bell bottoms and bummy so I'm going to be, and a, two pairs of shorts. So I am going to be um, using my serger um, for most of the night. I do have to use a sewing machine for the scrunchie and for part of the shorts. With the shorts I have to go from this, from the serger to the sewing machine back and forth a few like a few times, which is a pain in the butt. I hate having to switch, especially since my chair is just like an old, really old, old farmhouse chair. Um, eventually I want to get a chair, like a desk chair that has wheels so I can easily just scoot back and forth, back and forth in between them. Um, and then eventually I need to get a cover stitch too to be it'll make doing boy shorts way easier So I definitely need to get a cover stitch and then I also want to start doing um, Skirts as well, and I think having a cover stitch would be very useful So that's on my list of other dream machines that I want to get um, And then something else that I have to do tonight. I have to Make a bunch of tags um, I finally ran out. I had my niece make me a ton, a ton of tags, um, but I finally ran out, so I need to spend time tonight making these as well um, because I'm literally all out of tags and everything that I make needs tags on them, so I do, I do need to make some tags tonight as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my multi-needle going. I only have two embroidered shirts and a baby blanket, so the embroidery part of tonight um, won't take too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff just going. Once that's once that's going, um, I'll probably start with sewing up some of the skirted bummies and to kind of take a break in between sewing, I'll probably do my tags too, um, just because I have so many skirted bummies that I have to sew and the skirted bummies take a little bit longer than the bell bottoms. I, w I miss 
getting so many bell bottom orders because bell bottoms were super quick and easy to make. These skirted bummies just take a little bit more time, um, which I'm also thinking too that I just I need to add regular plain bummies because regular plain bummies I could sew those up really quick too. They're just kind of like the bell bottoms. <laughs> so that's definitely something else that I need to add to my shop. I know I have one shirt that's not personalized at all. It's my donut grow up shirt. So I'm going to do that one first so I don't have to sit there and edit any embroidery designs. I can just get that one going and it only has two applique pieces so that one I can just get going super quick.
Okay guys, so it's getting pretty late. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you what I was able to accomplish. So, so I was able to get this shirt done, this shirt done. Um, I got these two pairs of shorts. They're almost done. I need to, I need to add the elastic to the waistband. I got part of the scrunchie um, done. I just need to add elastic and so the seam clothes. I am all done with embroidery. I finished up this lovey, um, and I just have to sew the back piece to it. And then I got a mountain of bummies all done. So basically what I need to do now is I have uh, three HTV shirts that I need to do. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting those out. While those are cutting out, um, I need to add Tinder Touch to these two shirts. Um, I'm thinking that before I add the Tinder Touch to these two shirts, I'm gonna go ahead and do my tags first. Then we'll do the Tinder Touch and the HTV shirts. And then we'll finish sewing up the shorts, the scrunchie, and then I need to add tags to all the bummies and then I still need to sew that, so I still have a long night ahead of me.
guys. So this is what I was able to accomplish tonight slash morning. Um, I was able to get a lot done. A ton of bows, a ton of bummies. Ton, well not a ton of belt bottoms, but just a ton of work. And then I have all my fabric orders down there. But it is now time to start packaging everything up. Okay guys, I am all done. I can officially, I officially have zero open orders, which is freaking awesome. All right guys, well, that's gonna be it for this video. I am freaking so tired, so beat, but it feels so good to have zero open orders right now. I don't think I've had zero orders in a while, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed. Um, I'm probably going to take a nap later on today just because I stayed up super late. I don't even want to tell you guys what time it is because it's crazy. Well, that's going to be it. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, stay tuned for a tutorial, um, a market prep video, and probably another tutorial because I have a few more things. Uh, new things that I want to add to my Etsy shop. So definitely just stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I upload. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.